What up, YouTube? Denny and Saigon. American expat. Living life in Vietnam. Teaching English for a living. Riding across the city on my motorbike. That's how it's done here. It's the way I like it. I seen an expat today waiting on the bus. One of the bus stops. It didn't look like fun to me. I don't like taking the bus. I like to ride motorbike. You can't get a motorcycle here. Uh, buddy of mine is from my hometown. Uh, he's got a KVM. He lives up in Hawaii. He doesn't really have to ride it around. If you live in Saigon, a motorcycle is going to be a big pain in the butt. Because how are you going to park it? Where are you going to park it? You know, it's uh, even this bike's almost too big for parking here. Sometimes you're uh, you're forced to park in these giant parking lots, and there'll be like a labyrinth of parked bikes, and you got to ride between them. <laughs> Not going to be easy. But a motorbike is uh, cheap and uh, practical here. How cheap? Really cheap. I paid 120 bucks for this bike, I think. Put just very little money into it. I bought a tire. Uh, I did wreck it. I taped it back together, though, as you can see. It's never failed to start on me. Uh, all but once. I take that back. One time it did fail to start on me, but it was just a brief... Pretty uh, easy fix. Nothing to it. I found a mechanic close by. He cleaned my air filter. And I was rolling again. Doesn't use much gas. I think I'm using about. Uh, let me think about that. I do have to drive across town uh, twice a day, three days a week, and then the other four days I drive across town once. And I'm spending about. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm spending about 20 bucks, uh, 20 bucks a week in gas, I think. Less than that, probably. 16 to 18 bucks a week. To drive across the city of Saigon every day of the week. Twice a day, three days a week. Tomorrow's Monday. I gotta get up early and go, uh, come back this way. I have to go back to Go Vibe. Teach preschoolers. In the morning and then I go home for a little break and then I'm going to teach preschoolers again in the afternoon then I'm going to go to district 12 and teach uh, kindergartners and uh, 10 year olds in the evening that's pretty much my routine I'm headed back to my room now in district 2 where I'm happy and uh, my girlfriend has made chili soup tonight which is probably going to be awesome she's a really good cook she made a uh, she made me a cheeseburger today, it was awesome. Really good. I've seen an accident at this intersection this afternoon. It's a big one. A busy one. A chaotic one. No problem. Just gotta take it nice and easy. Looks like it has rained tonight. It rains a lot in Vietnam, as you might know. They have a rainy season, with, which is about six months long. So it does rain uh, a lot, but it's not. Uh, it rains for a little, a little bit each day. Really, in uh, some part of town. Maybe some days it doesn't rain. A lot of times it's just a light rain. You can't get heavy and you've got to put on a raincoat and all that. You still ride a motorbike in the rain most of the time. It's not exactly pleasant, but to be honest, it's probably more pleasant than driving a car in Saigon. If you're an American and uh, you learn to drive in the USA, it's going to be tough to come here and drive a car. I'd better take a motorbike any day of the week. 
I don't really have any desire to own a car. If I go back to the USA, I gotta buy one. I'm not really into it that much. I mean, I, you know, I love cars. Everybody, everybody loves cars. I thought they're just expensive, and I don't, I don't know. I'm not there in my life. You know, I'm not, I'm not thinking about having things, lots of things. I'm thinking about being places, being people, things I don't. I don't need necessarily just uh, something to get back and forth to work if I go home. That's expensive though. I'm from Indiana, so if I go back to the USA, I'm going to be living in a small town in Indiana, finding a place to work in some other town. I'm going to have to have a set of four wheels and uh, insurance and all that good stuff. Yeah, it's a lot more complicated and a lot more expensive living in the USA. But I've got kids there, and I miss them. I want to see my boy real bad, and I want to see my grandsons. I've got baby grandsons, and one was just born. So that's uh, that's where I'm at in my life. I'm I'm uh, I'm in this place where. I want to see my kids. I don't really want to go back. Can't really afford to go back. I can't really work in the USA. I can't teach here forever. Almost 50. I don't know what, what's going to happen to me. Don't know what will become of Denny. I love living in Vietnam. I've been very happy here for almost two years. People are really cool here. If you watch my videos, you probably heard me uh, talking up the Vietnamese a lot. They're very cool. They're friendly people, easy to talk to, easy to meet. They're very hospitable to me here in Vietnam. I've had an awesome life here for two years. I just love it. Big seafood restaurants everywhere, and they're real popular. My girlfriend doesn't like to eat out a lot. She likes to cook. I've had other girlfriends who do like to eat out a lot, and that gets expensive. girlfriend I got she is uh, she's so practical she just maybe too practical sometimes but she doesn't like to waste my money I love that about her I don't have a lot of money but if I had any to waste you know wasted on my girlfriend my kids ah. I sent my kids, uh, I sent my boy a little bit of money here recently. I hope he got cool clothes with it or a laptop or something. He's uh, 16. He'll be 17 the day after Christmas. <coughs> I uh, want to bring him here to Vietnam when he's 18 or 20. Maybe when he's, time he's 20. This life sucks. I'm gonna go anyway, it's just three, two, one. It's Vietnam, I should be able to make it. Yeah. It takes a little practice to learn how to drive here, but you can do it. Once you learn how to live in Vietnam, uh, you know, you may never want to go back and live in the USA again. I think there's 14 million people in this city, or around, pretty close. It's uh, it's a big one, like Bangkok and Phnom Penh. Smaller. I was in Phnom Penh. Uh, this city's safe. Like, you feel real, real safe in this city, even though, uh, you know, your results may vary. If you're like a young girl or something, or maybe a tiny lady, maybe you won't feel as safe. But I've never felt in any danger here outside of traffic.
there really is no part of Saigon that I would be afraid to go to. Or no streets or alleys I'd be afraid to ride down. This is what a city should be like. Uh, the new normal for London and uh, some American cities, you know, turning San Francisco into Calcutta or something. I think is, uh, you know, whatever. I think I don't think it's, uh, it's not. <laughs> what was Obama's uh, slogan? Forward. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the lefties. My goodness, I better not get started again. Get on some sort of rant, and uh, I won't shut up until I get home. This city is uh, a nice place to live, and an easy place to live, and a nice place to be if you're a single guy. Because there are lots of lovely ladies in this city. They're friendly and easy to meet. They're beautiful. I like how they dress here. The ladies dress so. A lot of them dress real hot. They're either wearing dresses or skirts or uh, they're wearing like Daisy Duke shorts or something. They wear the sexiest clothes and they pull it off. They look good in it, like the kind of clothes you might see the models wearing uh, in New York City. Going down the runway, these girls wear those same kind of clothes. They look sharp. They make it look right. I love going to Bowie Van and checking out all the hot girls. That is a fun night. Teacher Denny. I haven't been to Bowie Bean in a little while for fun. Can't afford it right now. Got too many things on my plate, too many things on my mind. Lotteria. If my girlfriend wasn't with me, I'd probably be eating here tonight. Or KFC. I'm overdoing KFC though. I'm kind of getting maybe a little tired of it. But I don't really get tired of it, but uh, I don't know. I need to change up a little bit. They see me coming in there so much, they pretty much have my food ready by the time I get up to the counter. You ever seen them do that before? Like, I remember when I was 16 years old, I used to work at this restaurant in my, my hometown, a small town. A little tiny restaurant, you know, after school. It would be like 4, 4.30 in the afternoon. And me and one of my buddies, we'd be taking turns because we'd be in sports and stuff. There was like uh, the same old people would come into the restaurant every night at the same exact time. We'd be cracking up, making references to Caddyshack or something, you know. We'd start, uh, he'd, he'd order like uh, uh, mashed potatoes and gravy with uh, beef steak or something. <laughs> we'd, uh, we'd start cooking it before, when we see him pull up, you know, or even got out of the car, we'd, we'd start cooking it. The time he sits down, you know, it's ready. <laughs> You'd order the same thing every night. I had a bunch of customers like that. Regular customers take the same same order every night. Every time they come in. That's just, sounds like me. Something I would do. Not very adventurous when it comes to food sometimes. I used to be. I used to be able to eat anything, but during my divorce I got sick. Thought I had cancer or something. It was just uh, maybe nerves. I stopped eating lots of different things. Can't really do that no more. I miss a lot of food at home though. I really miss, uh, I miss cottage cheese. I miss cream cheese. I miss Taco Bell. I miss eating Mexican tacos. Mexicans definitely make the best tacos in the world. These tacos here in Bolivia aren't bad though. I mean, you can't complain. But they weren't made in Mexico. <laughs>
video is probably getting long. I like to shut them down after about 10 minutes or whatever because I gotta, I actually have to rotate it. I gotta use an app to rotate the video. Then I upload it. Landmark 81. Easy to find my home. <laughs> taxi doing he's got his turn signal on going that way trying not to get crushed by a four-wheeler here or two-wheeler nice and easy